Sup, 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 guys. Ryu here for the Yu-Gi-Oh! account. So I wanted to bring you guys something a little bit crazy that I don't really think anyone's going to want to play because the deck's not that great. No disrespect. This is pure Fire Kings, and uh, you're going to see some crazy duels that I was able to snag up. And I know you guys still want blue eyes. Don't worry. I'm going to give you blue eyes. I'm going to slow this down just a little bit. So Fire King Island, amazing card. Can be used in Cosmos because of stupid shenanigans like what I just did there, but they would destroy their own battleship and then go from there and get Yakusha, which is, Yakusha is just great, man, he's just great. Um, Rippling Mirror Force is going to be played here because Rippling Mirror Force is honestly so underrated. I'm also trying it out myself. I've been liking it quite a bit because when Fire Kings lose advantage like such, you want to make sure you're able to do stuff and, well, we're going to try to do our best here. And here comes that Garunix to wipe the board clean. Mmm, start nice and fresh. 2700 damage. Fire King Island gonna blow it up to get another Garunix because I could circle out to Yakusha. From Yakusha, I could actually make my play from there. <clears throat> he goes to Roko. Goes uber fucking in. Just like uber in. Look at this shit. Just goes uber in with the Chidori. Power boost the Chidori like the 8700. Trying to wipe me out. Yakusha defense mode. This is why you don't do that. And now I have Garunix Loop confirmed. Garunix Loop too powerful. And I think this may get swapped out for Quaking, but we'll, we'll see. Here comes the Wolf Bark into the Bairong, the Bairong. And I'm going to put in some damage. I could have made a Cowboy, but I was like, fuck that. I'll just go for another search. Two searches because um, end, fa uh, end phase, next turn phase thing, you get another one. That's what I meant to say. He's got the uh, Blizzard. I'm just going to Warning that, securing the game. So that way I have nothing to worry about. And then, hey, look, my monster blows up. Attacking for game. And we're done here <laughs> for the first match. Let's move on to the next one. I do have to say this match was pretty damn dank. This is against the, uh, the newer version of Draco Pals. And uh, I don't think my opponent opened that well. Because not really much he could have done there. I, I mean, I feel like he sh should have probably just went for this and went super ham. But I think he just wanted to see what I was doing. So I went for the uh, Assault, so I can get Yakusha, get my Garunix play going, and I'm going to eat 150 damage, only to put Garunix in the grave, so Garunix will actually trigger, because it gets destroyed by Yakusha, for anyone who doesn't, who's not too familiar with them, and uh, he goes for the Synchro, uh, Synchro, he goes for the Fusion, I should have just warninged out his whole thing, but I was like, nah, fuck that. Uh, Wolf Bark into Yakusha into a Tiger King, into a Tenki play. They it just so good. Tenki play, another search, Wolf Bark. So I can do it again. I like doing it again, because it's fun. I dropped him down to 3,000. The deck's, like, the deck's got power, but it's not, it, it lacks a lot of power plays, while everything else has so many power plays. He's got that twin twist, and I'm like, bro, man, bro, that is, uh, that is pretty dank. Let me just get rid of these skills. I know you're going to get, I know you're going to get a card. But you can't activate it, so I don't really care. Like, it's one of those things like, GG, bro, <laughs> got you because I brought your life points down fast enough that you can't activate it. Let's move on to the next one. Just to show the deck still got some uh, some good oomph. This against a DD player. I don't. I want to say he's not the greatest because I typically don't see this in the deck, but who, who knows? I may be completely incorrect. It may be the greatest tech card ever. But he's going to go for that turn 1 Oracle King. I was going to drop Swift Scarecrow. I'm like, I really don't need to. I, it's best not to at the moment. So I'm just going to play Onslaught. He's going to play DD Rebuild. I'm like, I don't know what this is, man. But okay. Um, so, I, you know, I, I read effects because reading effects is good. You know, it's how you learn things. Uh, he's going to gain a thousand there. I'm going to get a search. Garunix going to trigger. Garunix going to blow up the board. Yakusha going to blow a card from my hand. He's got that penalty skill. He's going to make massive play. Massive play disgusting. <laughs> Goodbye, Garunix. Hello, Yakusha. He's going to attack into the Yakusha. And uh, I'm just going to basically have to sit here and wait now. But here comes the Garunix. Wipe the board. Go for Wolf Bark. Hello, Clock. Uh, Could have made something better here, but I decided to go for Dire Wolf. Get rid of the fusion. Insult to misery. That was really stupid of me because I didn't read it. Again, I didn't properly read that, so my own damn fault there. Uh, he destroys as many contra uh, contracts to DDs to go ham. He brings this thing out. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I, don't, I normally don't see this, but okay. Solemn Strike. I'm not allowing that to stay on the board. So you can have your play, and then... Uh, basically go from there and I know Jonathan I was talking to Jonathan while I was actually doing this he's like you could OTK here and I was like well I can't really OTK completely but I did make a giant fuck up of a play so I'm trying to redeem myself here at this point 
And uh, here comes the Yakusha into the Castell. I'm just like, I'm gonna snipe that back, and you're gonna you're gonna just deal with it. And he top decks, and I'm like, what the fuck do you how do you top deck that man? How do you top deck Prophecy Keeper? That is just that is too good. Gets the contract, but then I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> what? You could have done so much more. Why go for this? You could have done so much more. Pride could have ended me, but whatever. Okay. Uh, whatever floats your Yu-Gi-Oh boat, he's going to take a 1,000. He's getting his Leonidas, and that's going to be GG right there. There's not really much anything else he can do, but he will try to go for the fusion, take the damage, and then my monster's going to come out and end this. So I let the rest of that play out, sorry. Um, here's the deck profile. The only thing I would probably change is those new mirror forces for the quaking. I feel quaking just ten times better, but rippling is pretty damn interesting. It the only problem is it's gotta be direct attack, but again, just trial and error kind of thing. It's been working out for the most part. I just feel quaking would do a lot more, so if you're gonna build it, quaking's gonna take you further. Uh two Garunix works because searchability with Fire King Island and with Barong. I, I feel that works perfect. So let's run down the entire deck. Two Garunix, three Yakusha, three Barong, three Wolf Bark, two Maxis, two Scarecrows, and two Veilers. I went for the 2 2 2 on the three hand traps. Uh, nullify Monster Effects. I feel it's pretty damn good right now, especially with Blue Eyes being a thing and being really popular. You're able to nullify the main plays, and nullifying main plays is huge. It, really, really huge. Uh, three Assault of the Onslaught of the Fire Kings. I don't know why on YG Pro it says assault on the Fire Kings on the on the main picture there, but go figure. That's gonna get you your free Garunix, your free Yakusha, your free Barong, your free Wolfbark. I probably wouldn't do Wolfbark. I probably wouldn't. Um, double terraforming. I always run the two to three ratio because you want to see the field, then you run two, and then obviously with Twin Twister being a thing, if it's dead, you can discard it with Twin Twist, which is always great. Uh, two Fire King, Fire King, uh, Circle of the Fire King. Sorry. I just haven't said this name in such a long time. Circle the Fire Kings. Three would be overkill. Two is perfect number for when you need it. I mean, there are times I wish I did have three. There are times I wish I put Lance in instead of this. But honestly, I feel that this should just be quaking. And otherwise, not. the deck's been pretty damn good. Three Tenki. Obvious is obvious. Beast Warriors. Beast Warriors. Uh, three Fire King Island. This card makes the deck actually viable again. Not completely great, but viable. One Bombless. I would switch these for Quaking, but two Rippling Mirror Force, one Torrental, three Shrike, and one Warning. Honestly, I feel Shrike is pretty damn crucial for this deck right now because it needs the extra oomph to actually nullify your opponent. And if you want to build this, you could just basically choose budget options for right now. And then when the Mega Tins come out and hopefully drop the price, you can get that. So let's talk about the extra deck because there's a lot of Utopia in that extra deck. So Double Lightning, really crucial for a lot of like a lot of the meta that's going on right now and also is just really good to end games with double utopia one or utopia prime i actually like this guy quite a bit there's uh some dank times that he can go off very very rare but still and then obviously double utopia to go with that so utopia overlay to uh utopia prime then overlay to utopia lightning dark exceed rebel dragon one tiger king 101 uh 101 is still dank in this deck one giant hand Giant Hand doesn't get enough love. There are times that he's actually pretty damn good, especially when you're siding. One Castell, double Dire Wolf. Uh, I showed the play with Garunix, and that was pretty much the only reason I wanted that play shown. It's not really 100%. Oh, look, you can do it all the time, but when you can, it's actually really, really good to actually set that up. So double Dire Wolf, one Abyss Dweller, and one Cowboy. That's going to be the entire deck profile. I'm going to go work on the Blue Eyes OCG stuff with all the new movies stuff and whatnot in the Dark Magician deck. Those will probably be the next decks I'll be rolling out. Uh, besides Black Wings, those are on my like priority list to do. So thank you guys for watching. If there's anything I didn't mention or didn't do yet that you want on that priority list, let me know so I can actually start working on it. But I will see you guys on the next one as always. Thanks for watching. Peace.